Dini Banibali. Thank you so much, Karyana, for your remarks. Uh, we, were, we, we are actually also thanking you with the whole team and NCA, at NCA for supporting this journey. Uh, we will have more time to discuss this, but uh, uh, as today we're celebrating this little achievement, we, we really um, we have very gratitude for the support uh, uh, since the beginning of this journey almost five, six years ago, at the regional level and the country level. So I'm here to do some action points. Uh, very quick. Tangu tumeanza mkutano wetu wa subui, tumechukua baadhi ya maeneo ambayo tunadhani tunapaswa kuyafanyia kazi kwa maana ya kwamba kuanzia mwaka ni mwaka 2024 kuanzia sasa hivi ambapo tumeshaanza kukaribishwa kwenye kamati ya kanuni tufanye nini. Ya kwanza ambacho tumekisikia na kama tumekichukua kama action point ni kuendelea kuielewa sheria na kwamba kamati endelee kufanya, kufanya juhudi mbalimbali za kuhakikisha kwamba uh, sheria inaeleweka na kanuni zinazokuja ziwe katika lugha nyepesi kwa kila mtu. Hata sheria yenyewe ukiangalia bado ina ugumu wake fulani katika uelewa na kwa sababu sheria hii inagusa zaidi maisha ya wananchi na sisi ni wadau wakubwa tufanye juhudi kubwa za, za kuhakikisha kwamba sheria inaeleweka kwa kuomba wizara itoe ufafanuzi zaidi katika baadhi ya vifungu kupitia kanuni au kwa namna nyingine ile ambayo itasaidia sheria kueleweka. Lakini pili kuhamasisha jamii kujiunga na bima ya afya kwa wote kwa kupigia chapuo uboreshaji wa huduma ili wananchi wajiunge zaidi. Siku zote wataalamu mnatukumbusha na tutasahau eh, Mariana na Kuki mnatuambiaga eh, kwa wananchi wa kawaida ubora wa huduma ni upatikanaji wa dawa. Ye yeah, hatokiwa na jengo zuri kiasi gani hata wamekuta manesi. Ye yeah, sipokuta dawa hao ni kama mna huduma bora. Kwa hiyo tuanze na hicho ambacho sisi tunaweza tusikiona lakini kwa wananchi ni kikubwa sana kwamba tuendelee kuhamasisha ujengaji na uendelezaji wa huduma bora ili bima hii inapoanza kupitia huduma bora na uboreshaji wa huduma hasa upatikanaji wa dawa wananchi wengi waweze kujiunga. Lakini vile vile kuendelea kutambua kaya zisizokuwa na uwezo wa kuchangia kwa kutumia mfumo ambao hautawaacha baadhi ya watu katika kaya wasiokuwa na uwezo. Mfumo wa tasaf alisemea daktari pale father jemini kwamba inawezekana sisi tunafanya sensa kila baada ya miaka 10 sasa wanafanya kila baada ya miaka mitatu labda katika hizi cluster za time e, sifike mahali tukatumia data ambazo zitaacha watu katika kazi zile ambazo ni kaya zenye kuhitaji msa, e, msaada wa kutibiwa na serikali wakaachwa kwa hiyo kuna umakini kidogo katika hilo na mimi tuna nafasi ya majadiliano uh, uko mbele tunapoingia kwenye kamati za kanuni alafu kuwa na utaratibu mzuri utakaotumika wakati wa utambuzi wa watu wasio na uwezo ili tumejadili siku nyingi sana lileta maneno mengi dodoma na naamini bado hatuendelea kuliacha si ndio nani mafole lakini vile vile kuangalia masuala ya ubora wa utoaji wa huduma ya bima ya afya um, dr kasala li raise issue ya indicator za ubora wa huduma za afya kumeongelewa kwenye sheria kumeongelewa kwenye hata viwango lakini viwango havijawekewa indicator si ndio eh zile quality zijawekewa indicator zake ni nini sasa na mimi kwenye regulation uh, dr ametukumbusha uh, vizuri sana uh, kuna 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 point ya kuwa na haja ya kuwepo kwa regulator kati ya tira ambaye ana regulate uh, hawa uh, schemes of services lakini na health service provider wawe na mtu wao anaoadhibiti nadhani nimemuelewa dr maro hapa alisemea kwamba watu wa huduma kama hospitali hospitali ya serikali nani anaoadhibiti sasa Mdhibiti anayeko mmoja tira atakaidhibiti watu nani watu hao ambao tunawalipa the health insurance schemes. Nadhani point nzuri sana. Na nilipigiwa kelele Dodoma toka kile lakini nadhani serikali imeiacha labda tusaisikia kwenye regulation. Kuwepo na riba pale ambapo fedha zinapocheleweshwa kulipwa kwa watu wa huduma. Hii imekuwa ni shida kubwa sana uh, tangu wakati wa ICHF tumeona kwa mkoa Kilimanjaro tuli test hospitali yetu ya Haidom kule tuliona sijui dr Sara kwa kwake pale Kanorugambo ilikuwaaje wanatoa huduma alafu wanachelewesha huduma malipo na serikali alafu wao serikali au ya sana ICHF wakichelewesha wapigwe penalty yote hakuna hakuna eh, penalty wala hamna riba pale ambapo serikali inachelewesha ni malipo kuwepo kwa sheria ya kulinda fedha zilizochangwa kwa ajili ya huduma za afya fedha ambazo labda zitakuwa kwenye hiyo fund zingine zitakuwa BOT zinawekewa zina sheria gani ya makingo ya kuzilinda lakini vile vile kuwa na re, regulation should provide clearly what the said amount will cover for explicitly. 
kwamba napochangia laki moja shina tisa, napochangia laki mbili sabina tisa, napochangia laki sita sabina tisa, kama, kama, kama package yangu ambayo inainunua. Je, ili hele inakava nini? Ukiacha mini mam package. Vile vile ni meisikia hapa mara kwa mara kama ni sema vile na bitu ifanyia kazi. Lakini vile vile maana ya neno maskini na bidi itolewe fofanuzi, ulio wazi na unawe eleweka. Uh, neno maskini ilineza kapichangania ambiguity, hapikijua framework zake, uh, kuki alisha tufanyaga tafiti moja zile economic clusters katika familia. Ziko nne, sasa jiwa tatumia zipi, vipatu vya familia, vina vile gawanyo gawanyo vipi, na kipi kina tumika kama mtu maskini. Inazekana tukafika mahali tukavurugana. Baadhi watu kata kunguzo kata kundi maskini ili wafaidike na mfumo wa serikali wa ulipaji. Baadhi watu wata pedo kuitu maskini. Kwa inezekana ika, ikawa ni kitu kizuri kuelezea wa vizuri sana. E, consultative Consumer Council ya Afya iwepo katika e, itajwa katika regulation instead of absolute power ya minister. Sheria hii inasemo ina, ina, ina kwamba imetoa mamlaka makubwa kwa waziri uh, haijataji ishu ya CCC ya, CCC ya, ya Afya hivyo tunaombu tunaom, wana nimesikia mara kwa mara kwa kuna, kuna consultative consumer council ambayo itamshauri waziri mara kwa mara pale anapataka kubadilisha minimum package na vitu muhimu muhimu kwa ambavyo vinaweza vikaathiri utoaji wa huduma za afya ring fencing instead of multiple sources which are not sure for so, sure of source kwamba tumesikia point na hata mara ya mwisho dr maro ameitaja kwamba tuende kupigania kwamba at least kwa kuna ring fence ya eneo fulani najua watu wamesha wame, wame, iko exhausted maeneo fulani ya kodi ziko exhausted lakini sio mbaya tunaweza tukapata mahali Hmm? kwenye vinywaji wanasema exhausted kwenye liquors wanasema exhausted kwenye cigarettes wanasema exhausted sasa sasa tuchukue wapi na tuendelee kupigana kuna mahali tutapata upenyo tu wanasema ukipiga mpira kila siku golini mara kwa mara hata kama unakosa kuna siku mpira utaingia tu golini viongozi wa dini kuingia katika mchakato wa kanuni thank you so much for this point tumeshaanza ku uh, itwa tumeongea na watu wa idara ya afya na planning kule Dodoma wametufikia na nadhani tutakuepo kwenye kwenye huo mchakato mzima wa kuingia katika kam, kamati za kanuni kwani kanuni ndio namna bora ya kumlea huyu mtoto amenisemea msemaji mmoja hapa point ya mwisho ilikuwa ni point ya media yes katika mobilization na kutoa elimu kwa watu wetu usiache kutumia fbo owned eh, local community radios ziko 17 17 so far kwa kanisa katoliki uh, zinatosha zinazakava nchi nzima na zina nguvu sana kwa hiyo kama strategy moja wapo tutatumia kwa ajili ya mobilization kama tulifanya wakati wa ICHF na kwa kweli ziko very powerful. Baada ya kusema hayo uh, kwa ufupi sana uh, niwashukuru Nam State Actors mlikuja hapa naomba niwataje tena HPCS Benjamin Mkapa from Access GIZ HPCS again merudia labda Sikika wamekuja HDT Dr. Bujari CSC Asante the Palladium, Pact Tanzania, Ifakara Health, Washikena, Sisi, Sisi BRT, uh, Haidom Lutheran Hospital, ya yeah, ndo hawa. Nekasima ni wataje tena kwa kweli kwa sababu mmekua nasi katika safari hii. Kwa namna ya pekee, um, najua sitapata muda mgini wa kusema hii. Kwa namna ya pekee, ni mkumbuke sana na kumpa shukrani nyingi. Mama Mosha, huko aliko tangulia mbele ya haki. Mama Grace ya metingisha kicho pale na juu mekubalia my point. Safari ya viongozi wa dini kufanya shughuli hii ya uh, ya bima afya kwa wote ilianza na nguvu kubwa sana ya marehemu mama Mosha. Uh, tuzidi kumwombea uh, huko alipo always siku zote ametulea katika misingi ya uvumilivu kufanya kazi katika kundi ambalo ni gumu kidogo lakini kwa kweli falsafa yake ya interfaith imetulea wengi ambao tulifanya kazi chini ya chini yake. Lakini kwa namna ya pekee ni, ni mshukuru Tale. Kariana uh, 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 we would like to also say thanks to Tale. When Tale was the country director for Tanzania, between uh, up until 2018, I think, or 2019, she was the architect of this idea, I remember. It started with a meeting in, in, uh, in Stiktuna in Sweden, whereby part of, uh, uh, part of the faith leaders, including Bishop Munga, went to Sweden to really study the social protection in Sweden. I think, Gloria, you were also there. And some of the staff, uh, they went to Sweden. And then after that, we went to South Africa. After that, we went to Maputo under Tale's leadership. And then we drafted a first concept of the chairmanship of uh, Bishop Munga, a Bishop uh, Paul Ruzoka, uh, which actually the faith leaders had passed. Just a concept to come up with this idea of pushing this agenda whereby we thought it was not possible by then, but Bish uh, I remember Bishop Paul Ruzoka said it's possible and our leadership of Tale. So please convey our very gratitude and, 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 uh, to, to Tale, and we know that she's working with Caritas, 
Caritas Norway, uh, tell her faith leaders say thanks to you uh, for your leadership. We have seen the fruits, the light at the end of the tunnel, the, but the, the journey is still very long. But also, um, Sarah, Gwamaka, Mama Grace, tunawashukuru sana. Na wale watafiti watatu na sawa majina ya Mama Grace ya sana. Vita liposi ondogo ni vya tena, tunawashukuru sana, tunakutanao mara kwa mara, uh, tunawashukuru kwa kweli.